Hello and welcome everyone to yet another exciting Two Minute Tuesday. Today I want to talk about a tip that is kind of a classic. I've been using this for years now and it's always interesting to see that people don't even know Dynamics is capable of this and actually I've seen a couple of people react to it being like, oh, I wonder when Microsoft added this, looks like a new feature. It's not a new feature, it's been in Dynamics for a long time and I'm talking about the ability to filter which records you can select within a lookup and I'll give you a couple of examples that are very, very typical on implementations. Number one is when you want to filter records based on, let's say, a parent record, like if you are selecting a customer, let's just say you're in a case or in an opportunity and you're picking an account, you only want to be able to pick contacts who work for that account. So let's do this. Let's open uh, an opportunity, any opportunity, and you can see that the account in this particular opportunity is Tails Tailspin Toys is the account in this one. Um, and when I go to select the contact, which is right below it, if I open that up, you notice that it's showing me all contacts in here. So it's showing me this guy works for Fabricam, this one works for AdventureWorks, and so on. I might not want that, right? We might say that for purposes of our own sales, we are only going to be able to select contacts who work for Tailspin Toys. That's the filter that we want to implement. The other one that is common as well is when you use custom entities. So for example, maybe you're using the country and the state if you work uh, at a company that uses or the services customers in multiple countries and obviously states or provinces within those countries. Or it also works with custom entities. So here, let's go back to the opportunity just to give you an example. Here we have a segment and a sub, sub segment. And I'm just using those because I've seen those in a bunch of projects, but obviously you can use other entities as well. But these ones are connected. Obviously you have a segment right above it and sub segments below. Now, before I actually show you that, let me go and show you what these two look like. They're custom entities. So I created an entity called segments and I just added some sample stuff like animals, colors, and vehicles. And then right below that, we have sub-segments, which are things like bear and shark, for example, are in the animal segment, as you can see right there. Let me actually sort by segment so it's easier. Then you have red and blue, which are colors, and truck and convertible, which are vehicles, right? So I added a couple just so you can see what that looks like. But if we go back to the opportunity and I select the segment here first, let's just pick animals, for example, then I should only be able to see bear and shark, which are the two animals that are part of the animal segment. But you notice that when I go into the lookup, I can see everything, bear, blue, convertible, red. I can see everything, that, which is very inconvenient. So once again, those are two situations situations where you want to filter what's in one lookup based on the result of another lookup. There's another name for this, which is called cascading lookups. And I remember, you know, writing an article, I think my, my very first like big article that I wrote uh, was about cascading lookups in CRM 2011. So you can see this is something that has been around for a long time. So I want to show you how to do that. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So the one thing that I'm going to advise you is depending on when you're watching this video, you know, you might be able to do this on the new form editor. Uh, right now, filtering is just not available yet on the form editor. So you're going to switch to classic in order to do this. Um, now, I already have, you know, all this stuff open to minimize the time. So here is the form editor for the opportunity. So essentially what you're going to do in the classic form editor, and again, this might be on the new one by the time you watch this video. So check that out if it's possible. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the lookup that we want to filter. So in this case, let's just start with a contact. And we want to make sure that we can only pick contacts where the account matches the account at the contact level. So I'm going to double click on that field. And you're going to notice that there's a section here that is filtering. It allows us to uh, essentially filter based on the uh, value that is included in another lookup. So I'm going to scroll down right here. And here it is, related records filtering. So I'm going to say, I only want you to show records where the account equals the account at the primary contact or the company name within the context. This is what we want. We want to show where the account matches the company name within the context. Now here we can decide if we want users to turn that off or not. In our case, we can say, look, I'm not going to allow them to do it. So you cannot turn off the filter. 
So I'm going to do that and I'm going to click OK. And that's pretty much it. That's how we enforce the filter at the contact level. Now with a custom entity, it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm going to go to the second lookup, the sub segment. That's the one that I'm going to filter. And I'm going to double click on that. And once again, on the filtering section right here, related records filter, I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to say where the segment equals the segment at the sub segment level. So whatever is picked on the segment lookup has to match the segments within the sub segments, right? So I'm going to click OK on that and we're pretty much done. So let's go ahead and save and publish this and see the results in the actual form. All right, so let's publish. Awesome. And now let's go ahead and navigate back to our opportunity which is this tab right here. We're going to hit F5 to refresh. And now let's see if our filtering worked. So in this case, this one already has a contact. I'm going to remove that. So this is city power and light. So we should only be able to see contacts within city power and light. So let's go ahead and open that up. And there it is, CPNL, CPNL, CPNL. So all of these are contacts within City Power and Light, which is exactly what we wanted. We want to make it convenient for our users. And then in terms of subsegment, let's go ahead and pick animals. And when I go into the lookup, I only see bear and shark, which is exactly what I want. I wanted to cascade whatever segment was here with the subsegment results that my users see. And that's how you do it. I hope you enjoyed the tip this week, and we'll see you next week.